That's right! Welcome to the side of the ring because it's time for ringside. Got a bunch of news lined up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, we're just gonna what? The Rock vs. Roman Reigns is 100% still the plan for WrestleMania, despite the response over the past several days, according to a PW Insider Elite report. Barring injury or some other unpreventable occurrence, there's quote no scenario where it doesn't happen, which is probably because the match was part of Rock's deal to join the TKO board. Insiders WWE sources believe that with the shock of the Rock's appearance wearing off, they now have several weeks to adjust the program to make it quote make sense. Well, they do want to make Cody Rhodes an even bigger babyface with this storyline. The plan is not to turn Rock heel, and they don't want it to come off like he's taking Cody's spot. Multiple outlets reported that WWE was handing out We Want Cody signs on last episode's Raw. If I'm in, if I am at a car dealership and I want a car, and someone walks in front of me and says I want that car, and the man gives to him him the car instead of me, I just got my spot taken. If I'm in line for a, a McDouble or a, a spicy chicken deluxe with no pickles, okay? And someone walks in front of me and they take the last spicy del deluxe chicken with no pickles. My spot just got taken. If The Rock comes in and says, I want to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, even though Cody Rhodes was about to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, The Rock just took Cody Rhodes' spot. I don't understand what you're talking about here. I don't get what the implication is. You took a spot. You're trying to make it seem like you didn't take a spot? You took a spot. You're trying to make it seem like you didn't just steal my car? You got into my car before I got into my car and then drove off with it. He took a spot. They have, we won Cody signs. So they're obviously trying to hammer home the fact that they're trying to like, hey, like uh, I just almost said the same. They're obviously trying to tell you, hey, this isn't right, isn't it? This this obviously is not okay. They want they want to hammer home the fact that Cody Rhodes should be in the spot, even though they're not going to let him have it. So it's the same exact thing as the Daniel Bryan storyline, where it's like, listen, we know you want him in there. He's not being in there. Apparently, the Rock Rose Roman Reigns is still the plan. I'm going to go ahead and still stand right next to the theory that it's going to be a triple threat match, and Cody Rhodes is going to win off of that. I don't... What are you talking about? You don't want to make it seem like The Rock took Cody's spot, even though that is exactly what happened. That doesn't make any sense. Let me just... Okay. The Rock... The shock appearance is where... They need to make it make sense. Okay. All right. Okay. The Rock needs to come out. Raw, SmackDown, NXT, main event. He needs to say, Rock? I mean, he needs to say, Roman, I don't want your championship. I don't want it. I don't want to face you at WrestleMania for the championship. That belongs to Cody. He needs to say that out loud. He needs to say, Cody Rhodes deserves to beat you on the greatest stage or on a pay-per-view. I want to beat you at WrestleMania for your pride, for your dignity, for the head of the table. I don't want to, I do not, I, The Rock, I, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, do not want to face you at WrestleMania for the championship. That's what needs to happen. Otherwise, none of this makes any sense Okay? None of it. I don't care how you spin it. If The Rock wants to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania for the title, it doesn't make any sense. The We Won Cody signs are obviously some type of allusion to that, and Cody was about to say, hey, I'm gonna face Seth. Cody needs to also say that out loud. Seth Rollins, I, Cody Rhodes, are going to face you at WrestleMania. He didn't say that because Drew attacked him. So there's obviously some type of shenanigans going on. So keep that in the back of your mind. The Rock needs to say out loud, I don't want to face him for the championship. So I think that's what's going to happen. I think it's going to be a triple threat match at Mania. I don't 100% know, but if that's not going to be the case, then this makes zero sense. Next, on a recent Wrestling Perspective podcast, Ace Steel said that WWE, quote, definitely wants CM Punk to do commentary work while he's rehabbing his triceps injury. I don't think that this is going to be something where, you know, it, it's like a mainstay. Because you've got all of the commentary, like, lined up. You've got Booker T, Vic Joseph. You've got Wade Barry, Corey Graves. You've got Pat McAfee, Michael Cole. You've already got everybody there. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for CM Punk to just randomly show up and be like, hey, I'm going to be on the commentary booth now. You know, going forward, that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. You know what that would be? Guess what that would be? That would be him taking someone's spot. If he were to just randomly show up and be like, hey, I'm, not, I'm at the commentary booth now. From now on, that would be him taking his spot. So, just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. Um, there's not really much else to say. Because, again, um, Kyron to commentary booth already set up. CM Punk doesn't need to be there. I'm assuming it's gonna be a one-off thing. I'm assuming it's gonna be... He, I mean, listen, I, listen, I, I, I don't know his steel, okay? His track record is not the strongest. So, I don't really know how far out this, this rumor, we're just gonna say that, is gonna go, right? So, assuming that this is true... 
then I don't think that this is going to be like a mainstay. I don't think this is going to be something just, just set in stone. I assume that this is going to be a one-off special occasion type deal. Maybe, maybe it's a further storyline between him and Drew McIntyre. I don't 100% know. We're just going to have to wait and see what actually ends up happening. Sticky with WWE, current plans call for Andrade to be a babyface on the Raw roster per PW Insider. I don't know what that means going forward, right? Because, you know, if he's a babyface, then that obviously means that a heel is going to get involved with him somehow. And I don't particularly know what heel could potentially, you know, start running around with him. I'm trying to think who is not really involved in anything. I mean, I, I genuinely don't know. I hope, I hope to God it's not going to be the Judgment Day. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, not off the top of my head. I'm sure that there's a million and one different people that he could, you know, dust it up with. But for right now, I can't really think of anybody. There's not really much else to say. Looking forward to what the storyline could potentially be. And listen, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm happy to have Andrade back. Sticky with Insider, they also say that while initial reports indicated Jade Cargo would end up on Raw, she hasn't officially been assigned to a brand internally. So I think that has to do with what Brian Alvarez, Brian Alvarez was talking about uh, a little while back. And he was like, hey, she doesn't really remember a whole lot of spots you know, and I think that that may have something to do with that. I think that she's back in the performance center, you know, to make her run the ropes, do that sort of thing. Maybe they're giving her memory exercises. I don't 100% know. Um, I could be wrong, right? It may be a completely different, unrelated reason as to, you know, uh, the fact that she's having a little bit of trouble out of the ring, remembering spots and stuff like that. Um, but I would assume that that is probably the strongest candidate for why she's not back in the ring, which, you know what? That's okay. In the grand scheme of things, it's not even that big of a deal, okay? She's not hurting anybody. She's not going around saying that she's the greatest wrestler in the world, even though, you know, she still has a lot to learn, right? I'm sure that she's sitting there and being like, hey, there's a couple things that I don't know and need to remember and all that sort of stuff. I'm sure that she's got enough wherewithal to be able to say that out loud. I don't doubt that she's, you know, willing to learn. So we're just going to have to wait and we're just going to have to wait. You know, until WWE feels as though that she is ready to get back in the ring. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I was, I didn't know. Well, I kind of had an idea. I was a little bit confused as to why it was taking so long. But if she's having a little bit of trouble, fine. That's okay. All right. Nobody's Mozart when they immediately step into the ring. Some people take a little bit. That's okay. Jade, run your own race, girl. You're fine. All right, it's not that big of a deal. When she's ready to come back, when she's ready to step into the ring and have a match, that's perfectly fine. Maybe they're making her wait until Charlotte comes back. I don't 100% know, even though Charlotte's not coming back for quite some time. So I doubt it's going to be that. All right, Jade's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Finally, Dijak's WWE contract is up in June of this year, according to Fightful Select. Dijak is free to go wherever he wants. I'll tell you this, though. My, my personal opinion, I don't think he's going to leave WWE. I think he's going to re-sign with them. I could be wrong. Okay, I've been wrong many times. I feel like he's gonna stay with WWE because I think that they've been doing him very well. Listen, say what you want about the Dijak character and his weird, like, you know, justice nonsense nightstick deal. Say what you want. He's got a character. He's a great wrestler. He's He does great promos. They've been putting him in a bunch of different storylines. He's been having fantastic matches. His match at Vengeance Day was great. It was great with, with Joe Gacy. I think they did fantastic. I think he's been doing wonderful. So with all that being said, I feel like WWE loves him just enough to keep him on the roster. I don't think he's going to. Now, again, he's a human being. Free will. If he doesn't want to be with WWE, he doesn't have to. Maybe he wants to go back to being Dominic Dijakovic. That's right. I remembered his name. Okay, maybe he wants to go back to doing that. I don't know. That depends. If he wants to go to AEW, fine, TNA. Sure, MLW, great. It's wherever he decides to go. But I think that WWE is going to keep him because I think that they love what he's doing, right? They love his character. I don't think that he's complaining with what he's got going on. So with all that being said, I, th I, I think, I don't know, I feel like Dijak is going to stay with WWE after his contract expires. What are we talking about? The Rock needs to say out loud, Roman Reigns, I, The Rock, I, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, do not want to face you at WrestleMania 40 for the, well, yeah, for WrestleMania 40 for the WWE Championship. I just want to face you one-on-one -on -one for your pride, dignity, head of the table. And subsequently, Cody Rhodes also needs to say out loud, I, Cody Rhodes, want to face you, Seth Rollins, for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 40. 
That's the only way that this can logically make sense, because both of those paths will have officially, not intersected, will have officially bisected. There you go, I know words. Okay, uh, okay. He still said that WWE definitely wants CM Punk to do commentary. I mean, that depends on WWE. I don't see why they would have that happen unless it would be a one-off. Uh, current plans call for Andrade to be a babyface. Again, great. I don't necessarily know who he's gonna, you know, get in the ring with, but listen, can't wait to see. Uh, Insider also says that while initial reports indicated that Jade Cardigan will end up on Raw, has she officially been signed to a brand? Assuming that's because, you know, they've still got her running around at the performance center, getting her trained, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't understand, no, but I'm assuming that's what it is. And that Jack's WWE contract is up in June of this year. I assume he's gonna stay with WWE. Again, I don't 100% know anything. All right, I've been proven wrong multiple times, and I'm fine with that. So, he could, again, he could go to MLW, CZW, PWG, I, I don't understand now, right? I feel as though in my heart of hearts that Dot Jack is going to stay with WWE. He's been doing great, great character work, all that sort of stuff. WWE don't have a reason to get rid of him. I could always be wrong. Folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully, everybody has a wonderful tonight and a wonderful tomorrow, and as always, big hugs, big hugs all around.